Hello and welcome. Today we're working on a vertical or common size income statement. If you're new, my name is Jeff from Finally Learn, and we're talking about financial analysis here. And vertical analysis or common size analysis, we can do it on an income statement, we can do it on the balance sheet. So here, this is called a common size income statement. Now, horizontal analysis, we have to have two different years. We've got to have the current year and the previous year. But we can do vertical analysis or we can do a common size income statement just with one. We don't need two years. So the secret is we're going to set sales to equal 100%. Now, the way we can do this is we can just take our original number of sales divided by the same number. And what we're going to do is since we're on Excel, we can make that an absolute. So let's make that F4 and make it absolute and we'll divide the 383 divided by 383 and we'll get one or 100%. Now, that's not too exciting, but that's how we get started. And we're gonna take each number consecutively here and divide by the original sales number. So let's just copy it down for one or two here. So what we can see is if we took cost of sales, let me show you what we just did. We took cost of sales divided by the net sales and we got 55, almost 56%, essentially 56%. So for every sale that Apple makes in 2023, every $1, it costs them 56 cents and they made a gross margin or gross profit of 44 cents. Now we can copy this all the way down, down to net income. And so you can see then everything is a percent of this original sales number. So what we can see is we can see that our operating expenses are like 14% of our sales. Our income before income tax is about 29%. Our tax is about four and a half percent of our sales and our net income here is 25%. So this is actually a ratio called net profit margin or return on sales. So what this says is for every $1 that Apple made in sales, they earned a net income or a net profit of 25 cents. So you can start doing this with each company you're looking at looking at the vertical analysis or a common size. Because, you know, if we looked at maybe Walmart, now I, don't, I haven't looked at the numbers in, in a um, real recently, but Walmart would have 100% at the very top. In fact, let's copy this over. Let's make that 100%. So Walmart sales, but because it's a discount retailer and not a computer company, you know, their uh, net income would be something like 3.5% of sales. So Apple is more profitable on a per dollar or a percentage basis than maybe another company like Walmart. 